Hi guys, welcome to our summer road trip. Today we're heading to two of Kent's coastal gems, Whitstable and Folkestone. Buckle up and let's hit the road. Our first stop of the day was Whitstable, which is about an hour to an hour and a half by train from London. It definitely makes for a great day trip to the seaside. We were really lucky in Whitstable. We just managed to find a parking space just off of Victoria Street. It was really busy because it was one of the hottest days of the year. After parking up, we then took a stroll to the seafront in Whitstable and had a nice walk along to the harbour. The harbour is a working harbour with fishing boats coming and going and it is definitely a perfect spot to grab some fresh seafood. And speaking of seafood, you can't visit Whitstable without trying their famous oysters. Or if you're a fan or a first timer, it's a must do experience. The most popular place to grab oysters seemed to be West Welks. It seemed really busy and popular, so yeah, do arrive early if you want to grab some lovely fresh seafood. After taking a stroll further down the harbour, you will come across South Quay Shed. It's definitely a great place to grab a bite to eat or buy some souvenirs or goodies. One thing I do recommend if you do come to Whitstable, do try and do a boat trip. It makes for a great experience and prices start from just £10. Uh, if you want to go further afield you can also see Monsal Forts and the Wind Farm and if you're lucky you might see some seals as well. After walking past some old school American cars, we then headed to Whitstable Castle, which has some lovely grounds. There's a tea room here, and you can also hire it for weddings. I have to say this was a really nice little castle we did visit here and it is also a really peaceful place if you want to escape the crowds of the beach area. After finishing our walk around Whitstable Castle, we then headed back to the seafront where we grabbed some seafood salad. I have to say, it was really nice. After looking around the shops in Whitstable, we then headed back to the car and then we headed to the town of Folkestone, 
which was about a 45 minute drive from Whitstable. If you're coming by public transport, it is about one hour away from London and it makes for a great day trip out. After parking in the Harbour Arm car park, we then strolled through to the disused Folkestone Harbour station, which is part of the Harbour Arm. The Harbour Arm has many restaurants, things to do, and it's a great place to sit back and relax and enjoy the sunshine. After strolling to the end of the Harbour Arm, often they do have live bands playing. We were lucky and we did see a live band. They did put on a great show, I have to say. After walking back down the harbour arm, we decided to grab some food. It certainly was delicious in the sunshine, that's for sure. Lastly guys, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.